Good morning, everyone. It is a very brisk and chilly 37 degrees this morning, and it is late April. <laughs> I am in Chaco Canyon with Michelle and Amanda, who are now on a hike that I didn't feel comfortable doing. So I am waiting for them in the picnic area. But Chaco Canyon is really, really impressive. There is a great documentary on Amazon Prime uh, that explains the history of the place and what they've discovered. I watched it this morning in preparation of coming here, and it's really, really very informative and interesting. So I recommend it to you. Today's video, I will be showing you sites that I can hike to, shorter hikes and less strenuous. And hopefully I will be going into some of the buildings that they are allowing us to walk through and seeing some of the kivas and the uh, pueblos. So I'm really looking forward to that. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the other side of the video. Peace. This is one of the mesas, and I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> I'll try to stick it in here in text. But this is where they found a lot of the petroglyphs that led them to the understanding of the construction of all the sites here in Chaco Canyon. This is the visitor center. And there's restrooms here, dumpster, there's drinking water and um, a little gift shop and information in the visitor center. But that's it. When you come here, you better bring everything you need. <laughs> there is no fuel station here, no groceries, no ice, no food, no restaurant, nothing is here other than the visitor center and the sites that you get to see. It's quite beautiful, very, very ancient. Also, the roads in and the roads out are unpaved and not great. We don't recommend coming in an RV. We recommend a four wheel drive vehicle. And if the weather is inclement, in any way, shape, or form, do not come at all. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the visitor center. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this is the Hungo Pavi. It's a great house that was occupied, as you can see, between AD 1000 and AD 1250. It is considered a sacred site. Okay, let's go check it out. This is one of the walls of the structure. And if you think about it, we're in 2022. This was built in 1000. And look at how much of it is still there. And as Michelle pointed out, how tightly put together it is. It's better than modern construction. And then as you can see all around it are pieces of what was part of the structure. It's very, very interesting. Here you can see the two stories. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get over there. Definitely. More than one story. How cool is that? I mean, look at the windows on these things. These are ancient people. And they had better technology than we do today, in my opinion. They have round windows. They have rectangle windows. Come on. But they didn't live in here. They didn't live in this one? It's they, a great house. They didn't live in these. Oh. They wow. say that all these rooms were small with no ventil no not good ventilation and that they were used for storage. And the ones facing out were used for visitors that came for the ceremonies, right? So I would think the ones with the and windows the traders. They were traders. and traders yeah. too. I would think the ones with the windows would be, have been inhabited. The ones without the windows were the storage ones. What do you think? Who knows? I mean, we need to invent a time machine and come back here and ask these people. Oh, we 
Yeah, we would fuck it all up. So cool. Wow. What incredible feats of engineering. And they didn't have to go to college. <laughs> they didn't have school loan debt <laughs> to learn how to engineer this stuff. Amazing. Amazing structures. Wow. Okay. This, build up this next. is one of... That was where the floor was at? Could be. It could be, yeah. This is one of the places that we are allowed to go into. And Michelle is showing you the pieces of wood there. So it must have had... It could have. I mean, the holes in it... Do they go all the way out, Michelle? No. I ain't sticking my hand in there. But... No, but this one goes all the way through. This one doesn't, please. Please do not. They like, look like they're oven nooks, but they're not. Yeah, I mean, it's just guessing at this point. Oh, what do you think, Amanda? They go pretty deep. I wonder if it's storage. That's what they said. This was all used for storage. Wow. This is incredible. I mean, look how well put together these walls are. I mean, to last all these years, obviously. It's well put together. Amazing. Okay, we are headed to the big house, Pueblo Bonito. This is the big, big area that we learned about in both the documentary on Amazon Prime and the short video that we watched at the Visitor's Center. Highly recommend it. So we are coming up to Pueblo Bonito. And this is why I didn't take the first hike with the ladies, because I wanted to reserve my energy to make this hike in and out. And of course, around it. When I am... <laughs> when I'm exploring. So stay tuned for more interesting stuff. This is magnificent. I am just blown away by this. I am blown away by the incredible architecture and the skill exhibited by these ancient people, these Pueblos. And they're the ancestors of the Hopi. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And set against this azure blue sky. Oh my gosh. It's incredible, y'all. I am so thankful that I get to live this life and explore these many awesome places. And there's so much spiritual significance here. Man, amazing. So we are up on a high vantage point where we can see Pueblo Bonito. What remains of it? It is incredible. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Look at all the kivas. All the round things are kivas. This was a, a kivas or churches. So this was a place of ceremonial and religious worship. <laughs> Incredible. A thousand years old and still standing. Unbelievable. Wow. Look, there's another row of sticks. Yep. One, two... So this was part of the four-story structure. Yeah, it must have been. And some, some rocks from the cliff behind us have tumbled down over the thousand years. Okay. Nature provided this nice little rock for me to hang on to going down these stairs. It's perfect. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, now we are walking into... Pueblo Bonito. Wow. Amazing. 
Amazing. Look, you can see the big log that's used. Oh yeah, that was used for a ceiling. <sighs> Incredible. Thanks. Note to viewers, not handicap accessible. Yeah, not handicap accessible. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And all these were rooms. Rooms. All of them. Yeah. Rooms. Uh. Incredible. We got to tell Ghislaine about this. She's going to love it. Right, Amanda? They must have made this so that it like, simulates a room. Yeah. Yeah. The things that you're you're trading are Yeah, that dark. makes sense. Yeah. Because it's dark and cool. Wow. There's a tumbleweed or two in here. <laughs> but look how far down it goes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we can't even see really. This one too. Can't really see the bottom of it. But you can see here, you can see the several layers of wood. Yeah. And I like how they put uh, gutters and drain pipes to <laughs> and, and roofing to stop the erosion. <laughs> this was definitely not here a thousand years ago. It does give you an idea of what it looks like in these little rooms, what they would be like. Yeah, it does. And they're very dark. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we are walking up to Akiva. And again, like I said earlier in the video, it was a religious house. Now it's kind of a storage place for tumbleweeds. <laughs> but, you know, there is some certain energy here that feels very uplifting. It's like, I don't know how to explain it or describe it. It's hard to put into words. Oh my goodness. These are really incredible. And they used to have roofs over them and ceremonial fire pits and all kinds of different things in them. And I bet you it's much deeper. Oh yeah, I'm sure the sand has I mean if if the How do you get in though? Oh, wait, a ladder. Okay. Yeah, they went in by ladders. And if that sandstorm the other day is any evidence of how many, how many layers and layers and layers of sand are, these were a lot deeper. Wow. Incredible. <sighs> Amazing. This is a very well-preserved kiva. There's the steps down. There's steps down into it there. And then these are uh, ceremonial fire put in the middle. And I'm not sure what these other ones are. But could be fires as well. What'd you say? Hot tubs. Hot tubs. Amanda says hot tubs. <laughs> I love your sense of humor, girl. <laughs> Oh, wow. Very, uh, very awe-inspiring. I'm gobsmacked, as the Brits would say. We are going to Casa Rinconada. I think I'm saying that right. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the first one that we came to, and... Because I'm getting pooped out, this is my last one. I don't know if the girls are going to go any further. But like this is pretty complex. cool. Huh? It's like a huge complex. Yeah. There's some over here. It's like a subdivision <laughs> of uh, Pueblo Bonito. This is the subdivision across the street. Yeah. Man. How cool, though, right? 
I think a thousand years ago, people were walking around here. This is incredible. <sighs> yeah, I think it was later construction, according to that sign up front. Well, this is the end of the trip for me. I'm not going to push my body any further because tomorrow's a travel day. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Peace.